And we start by facing towards the front of the mat. And coming into a gentle extended child's pose. Pushing the hips back and reaching forward with your hands. And start to deepen your breath, bringing your breathing deep into your belly. And observe the ripples of movements throughout your back, throughout your spine, with every inhalation and exhalation. As you widen and deepen your breath, feel a ripple of movement becoming a little bigger. As you inhale, a little ripple through the spine, and as you exhale, reach out further with your hands. And at the same time, backward with your hips, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. One more time and out. And on your next inhalation, let your breath and the rippling movement take you up onto all fours and lengthen out crown of your head reaching forward, spine elongated, shoulder blades wide and on your next inhalation start to lift your tailbone, lift your chest, gaze up and as you exhale round your back, pull your belly in, look towards your navel, two more times, inhale And exhale, push out through your hands. And inhale. And exhale. Now from here, inhale. Coming back neutral. Exhale, start to bring your pelvis a little bit forward. Open your chest, inhale. And exhale, pull your hips back, pelvis towards your heels. You can walk your hands a little further forward. Inhale, come into all four positions with your hands a little bit further away. Exhale, start to lower your pelvis down. And as you inhale, roll your shoulders open, gaze forward or diagonally up. And exhale, pull your hips back, reaching out through your pelvis, through your hands. Inhale, round, ri ripple through the spine. Exhale, lower the pelvis. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, gently pull your hips back. You should feel a nice, gentle awakening throughout your whole spine. You should not feel any discomfort in your lower back. Maybe you don't lower down as far yet, but keeping your hips a little bit lifted. And pulling back through the pelvis. One last time in here. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, open your chest. And exhale. Start to pull back and start to curl your toes underneath you. Inhale and exhale, reach out a little further. Toes are curled, 
and inhale and as you exhale curl your toes lift your hips up and gently lift yourself up into a downward facing dog position keeping your knees slightly bent at this stage still and just think about reaching with the chest towards your knees and lifting your sitting bones up towards the ceiling And gently walk your heels up and down. Swing your hips very gently. Do not try to go into the full range of your mobility as we are still just warming up. And then from here, lift up through your hips. And exhale, bring your hips. Bring your knees down into an all four position. Inhale, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, around. Inhale, come all four. You can bring your hands a bit forward. Exhale, start to lower your pelvis down. Inhale, lift throughout, through your chest. Exhale, curl your toes under. Lift your hips back. Inhale, reach out through your hands. Exhale, lift up into downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale once. On your next inhale, bring your hips back down, bring your knees back down. And exhale, bring your hips down. Inhale, open your chest. And exhale, pull your pelvis back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, stay. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, open your chest. Inhale, lift up through your chest. Exhale, pull your hips back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, stay. Exhale, knees down. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, lift up through your chest, exhale, slide back, inhale, and exhale, down again, inhale, exhale, lower and lift, inhale, and exhale, last time, down at facing dog. Inhale, reach up through your sitting bones. Exhale, knees to the mat. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, down. Inhale, and exhale. And just pause. And inhale on all four. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach out through your sitting bones. Exhale, knees, bend chest towards the knees. Look forward, inhale, slowly step to the front of your mat. And let your upper body hang down. Again, knees can be slightly bent. You can grab hold of your opposite elbow and just let the upper body dangle down. Feel the weight of your head, the weight of your arms and shoulders. You want to make sure that you do not feel any strain in your lower back here. So keep your knees slightly bent at this point and just let your body hang. And from here you can start to place your hands on the floor and draw a figure of eight on the ground, gently moving your upper body, not only your arms. And arms by your side. Feel the weight of your arms and keeping your knees slightly bent. Head and shoulders hanging down, start to roll up, vertebra, 
Five vertebra. On your next inhalation, raise your arm. Palms together above your head. Lift up and gaze up. Exhale, wide arms. Start to fold forward with a straight back. And bend your knees. Inhale, lift your chest. Knees can remain slightly bent. Exhale, lower down again. Inhale, step your feet back into a high plank. And as you exhale, knees to the ground, elbows in and lower down. Inhale, lift up to the right side. And exhale down to the left. Inhale, lifting up to the right, left, and lower down, making a circle with your upper body to the right. One more time, first right with inhale, and down, and to the left, and down. Inhale, slide to the knees. Mm -hmm. And exhale, hips up and back into downward facing dog. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, bend both knees, chest towards the knees, gaze forward, and inhale, walk to the front. Gently lift your chest, you can bring your hands against the shins, knees can be bent, exhale, lower down again. Inhale, take your arms wide, palms together, look up. And exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Reach out, bend your knees whenever you feel that the pressure comes into your lower back. Inhale. Gaze forward, lifting from the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, stepping back. Exhale, knees to the ground. Lower down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, ripple down. Inhale, onto the knees, lead from your pelvis. Exhale, stretch up into downward facing dog. Push the ground away with your hands. Knees can be bent. Three, four, and five. Bend your knees, chest towards the knees, gaze forward. Inhale, stepping to the front. Lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, arms wide. And up. Exhale, arms by your side. Inhale. And exhale, reach forward. Inhale, lift your chest. And as you exhale, step back to plank. And from here, lower down. Knees still on the ground, lowering down. Inhale, lift up, all to the knees. As you exhale, curl your toes and lift your hips up and back. Go up. Two. 
three, four, and on five, bend your knees and look forward in needle step into the front. Lift the chest, exhale around. Inhale, arms come up. Big up as tall as you can. And exhale, arms by the side. Inhale, raise your arms again. Expand your lungs, take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift your chest. You can come up onto your fingertips or with your hands against the shins. Exhale, stepping back and a short chaturanga. And lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slide over the knees. You come into downward facing the heart. Now, as you inhale, lift the tailbone up. And as you exhale, reach with your left hand to your right knee or ankle. Inhale, place the hand back forward. And exhale, same with the other hand to the knee or ankle. And look underneath your armpit if that feels all right. Inhale, place the hand back. Exhale, other side again. Inhale. And knees can be bent at all times. Do not hurt your back or hamstrings. Inhale, back. Exhale, knees to the ground. And hips down, reaching forward. Active child's pose. One more breath here. And on your next inhalation, curl your toes under. And exhale, hips up and back. Inhale, reach out with your sitting bones. Exhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Inhale, stepping to the front. And exhale, lower down again. Inhale, arms wide. And exhale, arms by your side. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, Chaturanga. Dandas. Inhale, Urdhva Mukshanasana, upward facing dog. You can keep the knees on the mat to make it lighter. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale. Bend the knee and reach with the foot towards your hip. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, lower down. Same with the left foot. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, reach up. Keep pushing your hands. Exhale. Lower down. Inhale, right foot up. And as you exhale, bring the knee close to your chest. Stepping forward. Exhale, down. And bend your knees. And release your arms. Let me go for the rippling motion again, as in the beginning. Knees can be slightly bent. Knees can also be straight. Inhale, feel a rippling motion through the spine, opening the chest a little. Exhale, round. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, take your arms wide. And exhale. 
Samaste ti. Inhale now, we bend the knees, collect the arms into Utkatasan and gaze up. Try to bring your knees low, keeping the pelvis and ankles aligned, reaching up with your hands. And then we breathe out, straighten legs and hold forward. Inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, we step back and lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, take your right leg up. Exhale, bring the knee close to the chest and step forward. Coming into a low lunge. Left knee is on the ground. You can take your right hand on your right knee. Take your left hand up towards the ceiling. Now you can keep this hand for stabilization or you can join your hands, breathing in and as you exhale, reaching back a little, keeply reaching out through fingertips. One more breath and exhale, bring your hands down. Now move your right foot a little bit out to the side. Bring your right elbow to the ground. Inhale, lift your hand up and exhale, move it back. Inhale, bring your hand down. Exhale, bring your elbow to the floor. Inhale, lift your right hand up and exhale, open up a little further. Inhale, exhale. And mm, last time. And from here. Bring your left elbow to the ground if possible. Otherwise you can stay on your hand. And start to lean into your left side a little. And you should feel a nice stretch along your whole left side. Maybe. You need to keep the hand a bit forward. Just feel a nice stretch around the left side of your hip. It's okay if your toes lift up. Keep your foot active. Coming back, hands underneath your shoulders, curly back toe, stepping back, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, down facing dog, inhale, lift your left foot up, as you exhale, bring your knee close to the chest and step forward. Right knee to the ground. Gently push your pelvis forward. Bring your left hand onto the left knee and raise your right arm up. You can keep your left hand on your knee or you can join the both hands. Reach up and back. One more breath and exhale, coming back down, opening the left knee out to the side a little and then bringing the left elbow to the ground. Inhale, lift the arm up and exhale, open back. Inhale, exhale, elbow down. Inhale, lift your left hand up and exhale, open. Inhale. Inhale. And open. Last time. And back. 
And we start to lean a little bit into our side. Whatever feels nice in your hips, in your pelvis, on the side of your torso. Try to feel that stretch. And then from here, we take it easy. Roll onto the belly. Hands in front. Palms together. Forehead on the mat. Inhale. And exhale, relax. Release your weight into the floor. One more time. And the next inhalation, bring your hands next to the chest. Exhale, curl your toes, pushing up. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. One, Three, four, and five. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, stepping to the front. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, arms up. Bend your knees, Utkatasa. And exhale. Samasthiti. Now, if you need, you can take a block as a support. As we inhale, we step the right foot out for Trikonasan. First, we will start with the classical Trikonasan, or a variation of it, actually. We keep the right hand on, your, on our outer thigh. Left hand goes up to the ceiling. Inhale. And keeping both toes pointing forward, we exhale and reach out to the right. Keep reaching. And inhale. Coming back center. And same to the other side. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, reach out to the side. Pelvis can move a little, but not too much. Enjoy the long stretch along your torso. And inhale, coming back. Keeping your arms wide. And now turn out your right foot to point towards the short end of the mat. Inhale, reach out through your fingertips. And as you exhale, reach forward. And place your hand to the inside of your ankle or shin. Or on top of the ankle, or you hold your big toe. Looking up towards the left hand if possible. Otherwise, look down to stabilize. And breathe. And inhale. Let yourself be guided up with your left hand. Now you're the same to the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach forward with your left hand. And coming into Uttita Trikonasana. And inhale, 
Calming up. And exhale. High hands down. Inhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Push your hands away. Now keeping your feet approximately the same width. Push your hands away. And start to fold forward from your upper body. Now keep lifting your sitting bones. Maybe you're not coming very far down, that's all right. Then keep your chest slightly lifted. But if you feel the space, you can go deeper. In this pose, I suggest to keep the knees straight, do not bend them, to not create too much pressure. So do not aim to come too much down, but just aim to come to wherever you can, keeping your knees straight, keeping your legs active, and keeping your sitting bones lifted. And then as you breathe in, push your hands away and come straight up again. Release your hands. And from here we come into a reverse prayer position. You can bring, bring the palms of your hands together behind your back. If that's not accessible, you can hold on to the opposite elbow. And we're going to turn towards the back of our mat right foot is in front you can create a little bit of a lateral space between your heels for more stability do not keep the stance too wide roll your shoulders back square your hips and as you breathe out come into Parshottanasana for just a few breaths keep your chest lifted keep your body engaged And from here you can release your hands and lower yourself down and let yourself relax over the front leg. And maybe you will be using a block right now here. If possible, keep your knees straight. If not possible, you can also slightly bend it. You should feel a nice stretch in your hamstring. And then from here, take your hands to the front, walk your hands over the ground and swivel your legs around. Coming to Parshottanasana on the other side. See if you can pull your left leg back into your pelvis to square your pelvis. And on your next inhalation, lift your chest. You come up standing. Bring your hands into reverse prayer position or holding on the opposite elbow and lowering down again and release your hands and bring your hands to the center bring your feet parallel you can open the stance a little bit and we start to draw eights on the ground Use your breath. Massage your legs, the back of your legs, your hips with the movement. And we bend the knees a little. And keeping the pelvis low, shifting to the other side. You can open the stance a little low, wider. And see if you can incorporate the legs as well. Keep the pelvis as low as possible. And last time, take your hands forward, coming into a lunge. Stepping back and 
lowering down. Interlock your hands behind your back. Feet together. Inhale. And we lift up. Two more breaths. And release. Curl your toes. And slide back. Slowly rolling up into child's pose. From child's pose coming into diamond pose. Vajrasana. Now from here, shift the weight to the right hip. You can keep your right knee either bent or to make it more accessible, you can straighten the leg out. And then we cross the left foot over just outside the right knee, not too much backwards. Make sure that both sitting bones are on the ground. Place your left hand behind your spine. The right hand reaches up and crosses over the knee. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, look over the left shoulder. We stay here for 10 breaths. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten, we gently release. Coming back on both knees and then shifting the weight to the left hip. Bring both sitting bones to the mat. Right hand behind you, close to the spine. Inhale, lift your left hand up. And as you exhale, cross over. Inhale, lengthen out through the spine. And exhale, look over the right shoulder. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inhale, releasing. And stretching both legs out in front of you. Coming to cool down, finish the practice with a few last poses. Seated forward bend, Paschimottanasana. Sitting high up on your sitting bones. If necessary, bend your knees. Inhale, reach up with your hands, lengthen. As you exhale, fold forward with a straight back at first. And then you can bend and round your back. One, two, we stay for ten breaths, three, four, and five. Six. Seven. 
seven eight nine and ten slowly coming out of the pose keep your hands next to your spine tuck your belly in and slowly roll down vertebra by vertebra take your time keep the control Matsyasan, fish pose hands underneath your hips elbows pointing out slightly breathing in come up on your hands elbows close one more time breathe in open the chest and gently release your head and then bring the head to the top bring the top of your head to the ground shifting your weight back if this is too challenging you can place a cushion either underneath the top of your head so you don't have to go down so far or you can put a cushion at the height of your shoulder blades to take the weight of your shoulders and head. Five more breaths. And gently, you can just slide your elbows out. Start to gently tuck your chin and lower yourself. Release your hands and relax for a moment in Shavasana. 